2010 turned out to be a really different year than I thought it was going to be. Um, it started off kind of rough, actually, um, personally, even though I just sold to Egmont and even though everything looked really pretty on the outside, it was kind of gross on the inside. And so January last year, I, I didn't have high hopes. I didn't have a lot of good expectations for the year. And that's when you're sort of at a low place. And you don't expect things to look up. And then they do. And then they do. And then they do. You kind of stop thinking about yourself. And expectations that you have for yourself. Because what's changed your situation is the people on the outside. I'm a dork. I cry a lot. So... There'll be lots of cuts here. Um, when I'm on Twitter, some of us were being silly, and I said, I'm just going to build a fort and hide it in, in it until the year is over. And um, then I think I said I would have wine and cute boys in my fort. And um, it sort of snowballed. So everybody on Twitter was like, you know, I'm having a crappy day too. Uh, which, which boy should we put in the fort? And so everybody started picking boys obviously this is a bunch of you know women doing this anyway it's like a slumber party like an internet slumber party okay so Kay Cassidy had the idea and she emailed me and she said Mara I think that could be a really cool feature on your blog you could interview people about creature comforts and I don't think she meant to include the, the, that I should include the boys but I did because that's the fun part so I started the Fort Interview series, and it has been one of the things that I look forward to most. It's been the most regular thing on my blog by far, but it's also been one of the things that I have really enjoyed getting to know authors um, through. Only one person has turned me down, so it's been it's been a lot of fun to get to know people that way. Um, that was the first awesome thing that happened um, in 2010. And the second, it's not awesome, it's sad, but it, it is honestly one of the most life-changing events that I've had as an adult. And that was the Nashville flood that happened in May of 2010.